All right, back to this wild little ride. We're we're that usual thing when I'm doing a blind playthrough of a new puzzle game where, uh, where uh, it's like the beginning of Lock, where I'm like, I can't tell if I'm ahead of the curve or if I'm missing a bunch of really obvious stuff. <laughs> no idea, but we'll get there eventually. That's the promise. I thought that was in the foreground. Oops. Um. Boop. Hmm. I can't climb up. Because that stuff's in the way. I guess I don't really know what I would why I'd want to climb up. There's just stuff up there, so I figure maybe there's stuff to do. There's a fossil over there on the right. Hmm. This area on the left looks really accessible easily, so maybe it's not really worth it coming up here. Instead, it seems more important to deal with this. But I can't? There's a fossil and a gem. And this isn't breakable. Not the ways that I know of. And that fossil might be a thing you can get. Look at the lighting. It's like obviously the lighting is kind of following my character around a bit, but like look at the weird way that like there's a 3D like something. Like a bevel or whatever. You can really see it on that the con the shell down there. The Nautilus, I guess. Like you can see like the each layer, each fold is like shimmering as I move around. It's like a weird flourish you just don't expect to be in here. Yeah, I don't see any obvious way to go to that gem. Or even get past the fact that this ledge is up. It's like I can't jump. I can't climb unless that stuff's gone, but it's not sand, so I can't just beat it out. Hmm. Now I can no longer go that way. That looks like one of the pushable blocks. No, it's like that stuff under the the uh, the, re the the revitalization revitalization chamber. Hmm. Sand silos. This guy looks interesting. Ham. Oh, a new worker. It looks like Dean didn't give you a mapper. I guess I'm not surprised. We have been short on supplies lately. Hold up, I think I've got... Yeah, here you go. It's a bit different than mine, but it'll do in a pinch. It, uh, <laughs> this pose. This little gut. Why, why don't you have a look now? Blah. God, that's an aggressive pointer. <laughs> it is losing its mind. A is zoom. Just a toggle zoom. Ah. Okay, it's, it scrolls a little fast. Holy shit. Oh my... Ah! Mouse help at all? Oh god. WASD isn't much better. Holy shit. It's an aggressive scroll. Okay, so sand silos, stagnation, introspection. Yeah, they're all in here. It's it's a it's a side scrolly map of each zone. The vault, the surface. Okay, so every little spot I've found is all here. Undiscovered lore mystery door gem. Hmm. Oh, it's under it. I was looking on the map. No, on the frame, like a Polaroid picture. That, like, white area that under the title shows me what's missing there. So those two places have mysteries. There's a gem I haven't gotten in sand silos, which is the one that we saw a second ago. So this is how you keep track of where you still have stuff to do, I guess. Whereas here there's a door and nothing undiscovered, apparently. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know how it works, and I don't much care. But that widget there will map out everything where you go. Talk to the rest of the crew if you want some mining pointers. They're a gruff bunch, but they'll help you out. I wish we could rustle up more of those mappers. 
We're down to the new and confusing sort Matson made a while ago. According to Matson, the newer mappers like yours can tell if you're near a place you've never been to before, but I prefer my old model. So he has one that doesn't tell you about secrets, but he's like, ah, it's new, confusing technology, I don't want to use it. Which is pretty true to any work setting, really. People just getting, like, kind of frustrated with having to deal with new stuff. When it's like, yeah, but I don't care if it's better somehow. It's learning the new thing is time lost when I already knew how to do my job before. Which, like, yeah, can relate. <laughs> When I had to get a new com when I was when I was time to upgrade to a new computer, I was like, a fresh install might resolve all sorts of weird random problems I have and keep things up to date and so on, and that'd be just good to do, right? Nice clean thing. But then I realized I had to reinstall every single piece of software I use in my job, and that means having to use the newest version of all of them. And suddenly it's like, oh fuck, how do I use any of these programs? I haven't I I installed GIMP once, like six years ago. <laughs> so Suddenly, it's like, what? Do, where are any of the buttons? Where'd they put them? <laughs> Shit! I need this to make thumbnails. That's a weird tile. Oh. And what do we do with that? Does it move with it? Yeah, it does. Is this useful? Can I use it to break the other one? Or just climb on it? I guess I'll just break these, right? Ooh, that whole thing moved. What the dickens? There's a lot of environment to parse here. Hello. So you always drop straight down. So like, that's completely inaccessible. That one gap completely makes it so we can't get there. So up here is an exit, if that's what we want. If that's truly what you want. Oops. Maybe a bit much there. Whoa. Hmm. Quickly, there you go. That's how you get up top. There's obviously a lot back there I could have checked out too, so we still need to re-explore that room just in general. There's a lot going on here. What is that thing? This is it My Game Boy Color. I guess it says there's five gems, or I guess it must mean I have five gems. It probably, it probably means I have five gems right now. That's like a Game Boy Advance crossed with a Game Boy Color. I think. Like I had a Game Boy Advance. It was like a horizontal purple thing. Obviously, it had controls on both sides, but it looked a lot like that. But I think it's saying color. I, th I, think, I think the colorful rainbow text was for the Game Boy Color, where it said Game Boy in gray, and then a rainbow of, of text for color, because like, wow, it's in color! It's kind of an amalgamation of nostalgic imagery there. My, uh, my device in the corner. My gem counter. This is easy to get. Is this a trap in some way? Or just a reward for getting, just finding this room? Okay, yeah, now it says six, so it's counting up. That it's not like an indicator of nearby shit to look for. That's my budget. My score. And all this stuff is now reset. Definitely feels suggested that if you pull off some clever shit, you can get up there into the dirt. And then maybe get all the way somewhere else. Uh, I made it. 
I'm a genius. Um. Hmm. If I was one higher, then I could dig to the right, and then... If I was one higher, I could dig up. And then jump over to the right. Then dig up, then jump over to the right. Maybe you can get somewhere from there? Because if you if you dug right, then up, then you get to those blocks there. The open ones. Hmm. But for now, all I can do is fall back there. That takes me back to the surface where I turn in my scores. My scores. My achievements. So can't break this stuff yet. Kunk, 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 kunk. Nope. I gotta, I gotta use the D-pad more. Let's see. I'm not sure how I would change that. What I tried to do before. This seems hard. Did they hide anything around here? Whoa! Dig spree! He goes into a frenzy. Holy shit. He digs a certain amount, he just gets aggressive about it. What is going on here, buddy? Is it everything you dreamed of? Oh, crap. Cluster digging. What is this, a Minecraft modded playthrough? What is that? There was like a skull and crossbones on the way here, and there's another one there. Is this trap in some way, or do I just go for it? Seems fine for now. What's over here? What's with the warning? Oh. Uh. It was Mask Boar. What does he do? His eyes turn purple and as he licks the pool under me and then he like trips out and goes somewhere else, I guess. This floor is like black. Looks like Minecraft uh, Assault. I think obsidian. Hang on a gosh dang minute. Hang on a ding dong dang minute. What the? Oh. They respawn as like fake gems? We're on a tangent. I gotta go back to uh, ham. And see what stuff I could do back there. Is this a death hole? I don't think that he uh, can swim. <laughs> Frederick, they didn't teach you how to swim in boar school in your boar training. Classic. Get it? You get a job, and no one trained you to do it. Am I right? The huge. There's a few of these around here. These ones are less interactive. The vault? Is this gonna show me where how that mask guy was there? There is a discarded mask. Am I gonna join the Borluminati? Hmm, that's hard to get to. But there it is. Oh, is that the gems I've collected so far, filling this place up? Oh, do I need to fill it up with enough gems that I eventually can push that block from the inside in towards me? Then climb up and grab the mask? I don't think I can close that- Whoa, what'd you just- I think he just pulled up a grub and ate it. Like Pumba, Probably. Be fitting enough, having having just played Spirit Fair, where there's a character clearly animated based on Simba from The Lion King during that Hakuna Matata dance. 
that this guy starts pulling off some Pumba moves. I wasn't looking straight at him when it happened, so I missed it. But it looked like he pulled a grub up and ate it. Yeah, I don't see us getting much else done here. At the moment. How weird. This reveal. <laughs> water? Okay. Water Going behind the waterfalls doesn't put me at much risk. And go under these. Oh! Welp. I guess this is like the secret teleporter nexus that binds the whole game together and that's how you get around. Does anybody else know about this place? Just me? What's up with that thing in the middle? It looks like a missing asset in a, in a uh, Source Engine game. It's probably on purpose. So what's its deal? Let's go to the background back here. Look at this cave in the background. Rim. I think that's going to be it for now. So we got kind of borderline answers about the previous thing. It looks like the respawned gem doesn't glow. It's like dull. So maybe that's your clue to keep track of which ones are actually new. But they maybe still want the level to make sense, so they're like, here's where the gem was. I can go for that door, but then I can't get back up. Let's go for this door. All these death warnings on all the doors. Making smart choices. It's a shop! This game's bizarre. Okay. I, uh... Don't think I can get up there. Oh, it's Hildy. I guess it's the other character I could have played as. Oh. Are you the new, the new hire everyone's snuffling about? Bet you think you're pretty great finding me down here. Tell you what, I hear Wotan needs a new samoflange. <laughs> Developers just love this word. What is this word? To get our drilling machines moving again. It just so happens I've got one right here. How about you race me to the bottom of this mine shaft? Win or lose, the samoflange is yours. I just want to see what the fuss is about. I. Are we about to Mr. Driller? What do you mean, race you? What do you mean, race you? Good. Why would anyone be hype about me? Oof. Oof. She is booking it. She is so gone. <laughs> she is completely... Completely gone. I like wasn't even prepared for the idea of a race. Like, oh god. Oh. How do I get that crazy dig speed? thing going on that I had earlier. Or like the, the freaking like power inside of me was unlocking and I was like super speed mode. <laughs> I'm a disaster. It's gotta be done by now, right? I 
How did I dig so fast that one time? I bet that super mode is like the secret to winning this. Also, I'm kind of trapped down here now, huh? Not bad. Here, take the samoflunch. What is... I'm, I'm just going to continue not looking up what that is. Here's my inventory item. It It's a little ugly. <laughs> my inventory. My auto map. This handy device cobbled together from different machines keeps a record of your surroundings and what you found. The label under the screen, obviously modified, reads Pigboard Color, so I wasn't wrong there. Wotan needs this number three samouflage to fix the drilling machine. What what the snout is a samouflage anyway? So I, I, <laughs> I'm glad we have the same question. Oh, hope the past record of things you found is here. There we go. 21% 21.21% workings. Sure. <laughs> if you want to try to best me. Find me in the hideout and we'll race. So we gotta figure out how to be better at racing. Here's where you can take advantage of the fact that you stomp. That you, uh, not stomp. Mm, that causes some problem. Can I break this one? Hmm. I need to get up there. I can't dig that fast, can I? Ooh, kind of can. I didn't break that one. Ah. Didn't quite end up where I meant to. Shit. I'm somehow getting worse. But that breaks one I don't want to break either. I just want to break the one above me, but not the one to my left. The rewind does kind of rewind by somewhat confusing intervals. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad. Hmm. So I want the sand on the left to still be there so I can stand on it when I break the dirt to the left. And then I can dig up to the gem when the dirt to the left is gone. But if I do this, then the sand breaks. And now I can't break the right dirt. And everything's pretty screwed. May have gone a little too far back this time. Just break the dirt. There you go. There we go, we got there eventually. No more talkie? No more talkie. The digs. This takes me to the digs. Okay, so Mad Dash is its own screen. The digs will take me back to where we were before. But I can do that. But also... Where'd this go? Is it death? It's not death. It's new character! Maybe it'll teach me a new trick. It's like the core to getting anywhere on this thing, right? It does feel like the longer you dig... Oh yeah. You get like a speed boost. But Hello? M Macaran? Used to be this shaft went much further down. We had a cave in a while back. We had a cave in a while back. Smashed the bracing all to hell. Lately, Dean's been aching to reopen Deep Delve. I think he's got Wotan fixing up his old drilling machine somewhere. 
Yeah. You know, I think Wotan and the drilling machine are through a door just a couple levels down. He might have something for you to do. Where's this go? Somewhere else new? To some extent, like, the highest priority is just finding doors, because then I can just have the completest map I can of places I might want to go next. Is any of this... I don't know if any of this sand would be useful. Ah! You're inside of the wall! That comes with implications. Yeah, as usual, you can see the you can see the wire coiled around this pole and then going up to that light. So they are pretty committed to showing the like the sources of electricity in the environment. So this shows that there is a way to get inside of rock, because that's just in rock. Like there's no like, wow, well, how do I navigate this level to get to that gem? It's like that gem's in the rock. There's there's a way. Maybe it will be upgrades. Level's called impasse. Fair enough. 17.94% of gems, like in the whole game, or something? That scroll speed is way too high. Okay, that's what I kind of thought. That's what I kind of thought. Okay. So that... We previously saw one of those when it was pointing down, and I kind of thought, is that a laser? Because it had like that weird point to it. It looks like if you can touch the- I think if you touch the battery to it, it'll fire a laser, which might bore into the rock. Nah, I'm not close enough to hit the, the sand from here. Hmm. How do I get anywhere near that? I think that is what's going on, though. I think those- I think that, that stuff, uh... I was right to suspect that I want to make those two things connect. Just wasn't necessarily sure what to do yet. Horrible, horrible gravity death. Way the hell down here. How do I get through any of that? It's kind of hard to get up there. Got two doors. Where do you go to? Usually the... the uh, command transmission form not recognized. Okay. <laughs> there was a there was a error message, but the game didn't crash, so that's nice. Because that's definitely what I thought was going to happen. Drill recovery. This game had a... I think this game had a pop-up error when I launched it or something. Like, it just kind of happens periodically, I guess. Error messages that reach me, but don't seem... Don't know what they're for. How do I hit a button? Ah! I went way deeper. Look at this goober. Oh, so that's not what I went... Oop. Command transmission form not recognized. It's, uh... Game's not entirely taken some of this well. You know what? Let's come in. Let's see what this, dude, this dude's deal is. It's a little, like... Getting around, I'm a little... There's a little bit of a stress of just, like, I want to check out all those other places! Where are those places? And you, have, you kind of have to pick a path. And just kind of come back later to see what else your options could have been. Wotan. What's that? Oh, hi, youngster. Must be Greenhoof. Welcome to the mines. This drill machine's in a bad way. You see that mess up there? A few weeks ago, we dug in, uh, we dug her into some of those funny purple crates. The explosion was something, I'll say that. I need a part to get her up and running. Could you rustle up a number three semiflange? I think I left one back in the dick site. A number three semiflange. Oh, I do have one of those, actually. My! That there's a samoflange. Now I can get the treads a turtin. Drill head's a whole nother problem, though. I'm gonna... I'm gonna get this to the caves below. Meet me down there, will ya? Reckon I could still use some help. <laughs> Transmission form not recognized. Alright, the game might be having some trubs. And he's gone. What? I guess it- I guess he lowered it on the, those chains. i like, the whole fucking thing's gone! So I guess this gave me access to the rest of this level, huh? That's, I'm sure that's the idea. Alright.